Yeah, Rocky Balboa. Remember his dog, Butkus? Great part of that movie. But you know, dogs are such an important part of everyone's life. I've had a few that have really touched my heart. As a matter of fact, my dog Sammy, or known on his collar as Samuel, who passed away a few years ago, was very close to me. And to this day, many nights like tonight, I can still hear him running down the hallway to make his way to say hello. I think of him often. I wanted to take time to talk about another four-legged friend who passed away, and I've never done this on video before, but it's important because it's my family from Eastern Ohio. Dozer, that's right, Dozer Tambellini Croxel. 14 years he made people along Thompson Avenue in East Liverpool smile. You know, every time I would pull up to that house, here he would come with that face and that swagger. And it wasn't his tail that was wagging, it was as though he owned that street and that neighborhood. Everybody loved him. And over the last couple of days as he was gravely ill, people poured into that house and showed love and affection and spent time with him. Even during the big game yesterday, he was the center of attention. And you know, when I found my way back to that house years ago, he was the first one greeting me and barking. And a big dog he was, but he had an even bigger heart. And as time went on and we would have these great conversations along that wonderful Ohio River in their house, sitting at the kitchen table with Mary Tambellini and Al and their other dogs, Sophie, and obviously daughter Mimi, son-in-law Jason, and grandson Alex, and all sorts of good people and family members. That wonderful dog would always put his snout on my right knee. Like, well, either then to tell me I wanna go out or to simply say, hey, I got your back, I'm here. And when he stopped barking and just wagged his tail when I showed up, I felt like I was finally a part of the community again. We will miss him, but as my friend Alan Kaplan has said many times, hey, it's better to have had them and to love them than to have never had them and loved them at all. So time will pass and you will create new memories down the road, but there will only be one dozer and he plowed through so much to make us all happy. And that's exactly how I will remember him my four-legged friend with that swagger. Have a great night from your Pratt Pack. And I'd like to take time to thank the Arner Funeral Home, Pete Arner and Company, or dear friends from Chester, West Virginia, who helped them through their tough time and actually have a service in which they will get your pets cremated for you. That's pretty special. But after all, that's what hometown's all about. And no one loved his hometown more than Dozer.